Hi guys, Nancy here from Loombicious. Today we will make the giraffe pencil topper. So this one is with uh, a tan color from um, the camo mix from Rainbow Loom. I will make a, a caramel colored one on the video because you can see this better. That's the only reason that you can use uh, the tan color in the camo mix if you want it to be the same like this one. So let's start with the giraffe pencil topper. I will turn my loom. We're going to start with the ears. So grab your main body color and double loop all the bands here. So this is a single band double looped. Be somewhere on your loom. Doesn't matter. Go up three times with a single band double looped. Then we need to place one diagonally, also double looped, and one overstretched. Now we need to cap off the tip of the ear with a single band by wrapping it around four times. Is this the fourth time? Yes, I guess so. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry again. Go behind the cap band. First loom over this diagonally band. Then loom over this one. Then go inside the cap band again. Loom over that band. Loom over this one. And the final one. This will be one ear. You need to make a second ear. Store this on a hook or toothpick. So this will be one ear. You need to make a second one. You can do it exactly the same or mirror it. it well, it doesn't matter to be honest. So It's so tiny you won't see the difference. Now we're going to make the tiny uh, antlers, or those things, horns, antlers, I don't know how to call them in English. I don't even know how to call them in Dutch, but these thingies. So grab your main body color again, double loop a single band, double loop another one, and another one. Grab your, uh, your the tip color. You can also use black if you want to, but I will use dark brown. Wrap this around four times. And loom this. Simply loom all of them up. <coughs> and this will be one handler. So store this on a hook or toothpick. Oh, no, it's correct. So this will be one. Make a second one exactly the same. <coughs> oh, oh, oh my. Anyway, let's continue with the top of the head. Yeah. I'm going to create some kind of stripe on the giraffe's head. In the center, you can choose to do this in one color or mix up the bands. So grab one caramel band and one dark brown band to mix them up. If you are doing a ten colored um, giraffe, I recommend you use uh, caramel as brown and only dark brown for the nostrils and antlers. But you can decide yourself what to do. I will. Create one colored stripe in the center. Um, a giraffe actually does have some spots on the side of his face. But not at the tip of his snout. So you can decide if you want to mix up the bands and use one of each color on the sides. I will leave that up to you. I won't be doing that. So grab two bands at a time of your main body color. Not the stripe color. Two bands, place them there. 
two here. This will be the top of the head, so not the snout yet. I'll grab your stripe color. I will simply use dark brown. I mixed it up here, by the way. So well, you can decide whatever you like, what you want. Everything is possible. You can also really make a yellow giraffe with dark brown. That will also be cute, I guess. And these are also two bands all the time. Now two diagonally here. And two diagonally here, of course. Now grab your main body color again. Two bands at a time for your horizontal bands. And another set, also two bands. Um, yeah. Yeah, cap off. If you're doing a stripe, or even if you use two bands in the middle of, of different colors, grab one of those colors or your stripe color and cap off the tip of the head with a single band by wrapping it around four times, like this. Just choose the color you like. This will be... Um, near the eyes in the middle here this is the cap band if you can even see that i don't know but you will see it so decide what color you want to use here for yourself um and i believe yeah grab your antlers so you should have two of them it doesn't matter how you have them on your hook as long as you have one of them on your hook Lift up the horizontal bands, the first set of horizontal bands, lift them up and slide over the antler, tiny antler, thingy, horn, or I don't know what it is, simply slide it over and replace that horizontal band, have to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of course. Same process. Try not to make those double loop bands twist. Well, anyway, so those are slide over onto that horizontal band and simply replaced. That's all I did, to be honest. Now go behind your cap band. Loom the first two diagonally and this set diagonally and they are completely twisted again. Loom up the center entirely, you don't have to attach anything here further, so you can loom those up. <coughs> loom up the sides only once. And then grab one of your ears. Simply grab one of your ears. I will show you which ear you need to attach where. Um, there is a straight side on, on the ear. It's really flat and a tiny point. So you want to attach this ear to this side. So it's straight on top and the point is at the bottom so you have this ear on your hook you need to attach it pick up those bands you just loomed only the top two and you need to slide over the ear and replace those bands of course I have to check if I twisted them no, I guess I did not now your other ear you can also check how you need to stick your hook through to get the flat side on top here. So it has to be on your hook like this. So the flat side is facing the other direction. Then lift up those two loomed bands again and slide them over. 
and replace. And that's it for the ears and the top of the head is already done. So grab three. <coughs> grab three different color bands and simply make tiny slip knots on the end so your work won't fall apart. That's all you need to do. Then you can remove this from your loom carefully. This will be the top of the giraffe head. Pencil topper. So this will be the top of your giraffe head for now. So put this aside and let us continue with the middle portion of the head. Um, grab two of your main body color. Going to do the side first. Uh, no, we have to do the middle. Grab your stripe color or mix them up if you want to. You can also use a light and a dark brown band there. If you want to, you can decide what you like. And your main body color, again, these are two bands all the time. Unless I say something different. If you are creating simply the head and you don't want to have a hole inside, I will remove this. Simply attach them straight down. And you can attach either light or dark brown here. For the stripe but if you want a stripe just place dark brown all the way down and don't create a hole here if you want to make the head simply to use it to create well maybe your own giraffe i don't know don't make a hole but i am making a pencil topper so i do create a hole you just go straight forward if you only want the head to be created. And your main body color again. As you can see, two bands all the time for now. I'm not even looking at my design. <laughs> well, it's fresh in my mind. So I did it only mm, two days ago. So. I will remember. And still I can make mistakes, of course. But I hope I won't. All two bands at a time. I do have to check one, two, three, four, five times. Yeah, two bands at a time again. On the sides. Now grab your stripe color. So that's brown for me, dark brown. Two bands here. Now grab three bands. Place them here. Those are three bands. Now grab two bands again. Place them here. <coughs> now I will turn my loom because we will have to place double looped bands. So first grab your main body color, not your stripe color. Place one double loop band here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And place a single main body color band double looped here. Now place... No, wait, I have to do... Well, this is okay. Leave it like this, but... We have to do the center first, indeed. Otherwise, we can't loom. Yeah. Well, grab your main body of your stripe color. Sorry. One, two, three, there. Yeah. Double loop a single stripe color band here. And another one. So a second stripe color here. Now grab your main body color again and also double loop one here is this correct yes this is correct again 
place one down also on that peg so you need to double loop this one and again go diagonally this might look weird but just follow me this is to create some sort of lip uh, for the giraffe i think i will try to do a camel camel yeah yeah camel too soon as a pencil topper but i will um well, let us continue. Simply do the same thing on the opposite side. I guess I don't have to explain because you can see what you already have done. Simply follow all these steps onto the opposite side. Because I think I'm chatting way too much sometimes in my videos. Because you can also see what I'm doing. So all single bands double looped here. Aha, funny. Oh, that's even better. Well, like this. Now, cap off. <coughs> this will be the tip of the snout with a single main body color band by wrapping it around four times. And we have to place the horizontal bands in the eyes, of course. Uh, again, a single main body color. The, this will be a horizontal band, so double loop it. Place it here. This one needs to be straight and not in a triangle. Uh, place the second. It's also a single band double looped. And another one, single band double looped. Make a triangle. And the final one. I believe now we have to grab two bands at a time. Yes. Make a triangle here. These are two bands. Those. And another set of two bands here. Like this. Now we can do the eyes. You might want to push down those triangles a bit. The eyes. Well, I guess you know what to do. Grab your eye color. Wrap that band around two times. Grab your pupil color this will be black you can also use dark brown wrap it around four times and wrap your eye color band around two times again now grab two of your main body color bands two of them and we need to slide over <coughs> oh, taking a sip of my water We need to slide over those bands onto those two main body color bands. That's all we need to do. We're going to stretch these eyes quite a bit. Make the good part of the eye face, well, a bit towards the side. I will show you. You have to place it from the third peg on the side. Make the good part of the eye. I'll turn my room. Face it towards the snout. So the third peg. Place them there. One side of them. Uh, stay on my hook please. But we have to stretch it onto the sixth peg in the middle. I believe it's this one. Well, back again. <laughs> the hard disk was uh, full. So uh, I could couldn't uh, be recording anymore so I deleted some of my previous tutorials and now I hope I can record for some time. Um, well the eye has to be placed from the third to the sixth pack in the middle. Obviously you have to create a second eye that I already did um, but you didn't uh, saw me doing that because well my video stopped recording or my video my camera. Um, so, create a second eye and place it onto the opposite side. That's actually all you need to do. Um, you have to place... Well, you have to place it on the sixth peg and the middle on the third on the side. But, there is a but. Um, the eyes need to be approximately into the middle here. Good part of the eye is facing to the... Well, 
this can be downwards a bit like this. So make them look well. Is that okay? Yeah, this is okay. Have it like this, approximately. You can always slide those eyes back and front even after it's done. So you should have it like this right now. And I guess we can loom. Yes, we don't have to attach anything else. Yeah, only the nostrils. I don't need to forget the nostrils. But we have to do that after we loom. So we'll do that soon. Um, my nostrils will be dark brown and not black. So go behind this cap band and grab the first double loop band you come across and loom over to the side. Again, get into that cap band and loom over. Continue on the side, loom up only once. Loom up only once. Now, we're going to start here. Only grab the first double loop band you come across and loom downwards. Or, yeah, loom downwards. Now grab your nostril collar and wrap a single band around four times, like this. Then lift up the bands, the double loop band you just loomed over and slide the nostril band onto there and replace. We also have to do this on the onto the opposite side of course, so go behind your horizontal band, grab the double loop band and loom downwards to the center. Again, your nostril collar, wrap it around four times. Turn my loom for this. Lift up the double loop band you just loomed, slide over that nostril band, replace this and that's it. This will be the nostril and the lip of your giraffe. So again, we're going to do the center. Oh, my bands are stuck again. Of course they are. So loom that one over and loom this one over. And loom over those three bands down here. Normally we attach are those three bands. Yeah. Indeed. Those three bands. And stop there. Now we're going to do the sides too. Follow me. Stop here. Don't continue any further. Now this side. Can you even see where I stopped? I guess. Stop here. Don't go any further. So stop at these pegs. <coughs> it's up to you if you want to lift up the snout already or leave it on your loom. I am going to lift this up. And hope this won't break on me. But you can leave it if you don't want to uh, remove it just yet. Um, now I can lift it up once more. But like this for now, now grab the top of your giraffe head, have it upside down. So the antlers, those tiny thingies are facing down. Stick your hook through the set, the first loom stripe set in the center, in the middle. Stick your hook through there. That's all you need to do. But check on top. If you are behind every horizontal band and if you have two loops of 
in my case, dark brown on both sides of your hook. So it's on my hook like this. Antlers facing down and the tie bands facing towards me. Now grab those two dark brown bands here. Pull them apart and slide over the top of the head. So actually pull them through. Keep those tying bands facing towards you and loom that band over like this. Now go and grab the top two here and the bottom two and loom them over. Now you can actually flip over the head so the antlers are facing up. Um, but first we need to loom up once more or well, uh, twice more on the sides. Like this and also on this side before we flip the head over. That actually doesn't matter. Um, now I'm going to remove the snout a bit further so I don't have to stretch the head too far. First we're going to attach this set. So stick your hook through this set. Remove the tying band. And attach it around that peg and simply loom up the first two bands you come across and the second set you come across. Do the same thing on the opposite side. First the sides, then we can attach the center. Grab the top two, loom over, and the bottom two, loom over. Now we can attach the set in the center. The stripe color. And that's it for the top of the head. So again, tie off those last loomed sets. I'm again reusing my bands. Reusing. Is that a real world word? World. I guess so. Yeah, I have a cold again. I guess I will never get better. <coughs> so, I removed it from my loom. Well, this will be the top of your giraffe head but it might need some adjustment you can pull up yeah pull a bit on those eyes if you want to you don't have to you can turn them a bit and let only the good part face outwards and push the lip downwards a bit like this so it's actually well, curve down a tiny bit <coughs> because there's no triangle bend there. So this is the top of your um, giraffe pencil topper. So let us continue with the bottom jaw. It looks cool. I think it's awesome. Yeah, I do think it looks cool. Uh, anyways, put this aside, uh, the bottom jaw. First we're going to do the tongue. This can be quite large. Double loop a pink band, so a single pink band. Place it somewhere on your loom. We have to place 
six double looped bands. If you want the tongue to be long, you can also uh, make it shorter if you want to. But I want it to be longer than this. This is my prototype, of course, but it's quite short. I think, well, it can be way longer. So I will make my tongue longer. One, two, three, four, five, six bands, double looped. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Use a cap, uh, a cap band, a single band wrap around four times. And that's it. Simply loom that. So it's quite long, but I think that's cool. I think that will look better than a short tongue inside. So this will be the tongue. I'll stick it somewhere on your loom. I will have it down here. So I can grab it when we need it. So let us continue with the bottom jaw. Grab two of your main body color bands at a time. Going to do the sides first. Again, if you are simply using this head, don't create a hole in the center. This is dark brown, your stripe color. You only need to use one is enough, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter. And two, again, these are all two bands at a time. Now, if you are <coughs> uh, just using this head and, and only create this head uh, for some other use, I don't know, don't make a hole here, but simply go down and don't do these bands two bands at a time your main body color so if you want to create a pencil topper do create a hole otherwise go down and don't touch those and of course you have to place bands all the way so also here and here but anyways, two bends at a time of your main body color. <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat. So that's why I'm coughing now. <laughs> Yay, I'm coughing again. Um, well, let me see. Uh, focus. <laughs> I need to focus on my design. Otherwise, I'm telling you guys the wrong things. These are also two bands. Yeah. And two bands here. Now we need to place, going to attach the horizontal bands first. So create a triangle with two bands. These are two main body color bands. Make a triangle here. Otherwise I will forget. Turn your loom. The rest will be double looped. So go down with your main body color with single bands and double loop them this is the third one two three stop there also do this on the opposite side so single main body color bands double looped if you want to create some sort of spot you can also do a light a dark a light a dark you can make a pattern if you want to. I'm not doing that. Now do the center with also your main body color, not a stripe color. <coughs> Unless you want to do that, of course. I believe we have to place down four times. One, two, three, four. Yes. 
So a double looped single bend again down four times. We have to do the same thing as we did with the top of the head. So go diagonally this way to create the lip for the bottom jaw. And we have to place one here diagonally before we can continue down. The order doesn't matter to be honest. So go down once again, also with your main body color. And again, go diagonally. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, this is correct. And place one double looped here. And the final one diagonally, of course. I can't manage that way. Use a single main body color band. Wrap it around four times. And this will be your cap band. Again, horizontal band, double loop, a single band. Place it here. Double looped, single band here. Actually, all the way. Only double looped, horizontal bands all the way. <coughs> and again. And once more. That's it. Now we can already loom. We don't have to attach anything else here besides the tongue and the top of the head, of course. So let's continue. Go behind that cap band, grab the top double loop bands and loom over. Grab the next and loom over. Only loom up once on both sides. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> get inside this one, loom backwards, or actually to the center, or how you like to call it. <coughs> and again, loom backwards here, and continue looming up the sides until you reach, I do have to check. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, loom all the double looped bands. Stop there. Same thing on the opposite side, of course. So also loom up towards here and don't continue. Now loom up the center. And we don't have to forget to of course, it's stuck again. I don't like to pull this because those are double loop bands. Grab your tongue. And attach it around this peg. If you can manage, so it will be here, <coughs> go inside that tongue bag, grab the top two, I have only one, I can't see where I'm at, yes, grab the top two bands, loom across, and the bottom two bands, loom across, of course mine are stuck again, the story of my life, I'm stuck. Well, at least my bands are stuck. I'm not stuck, but <laughs> my bands are. Um, anyways, grab the top of your giraffe head. Stick your hook through um, those bands on the side, actually beneath the eye, if you had them approximately in the middle. So don't stick them through the first two bands you come across. If you look at the tip of the snout, with the second set. Um, look at the side, not the top really decide to grab the top two bands and the bottom two bands 
those bends. Yes, stick your hook through, turn it so your hook is facing away from you. Then we're going to grab those two bends from inside here. So grab them. Don't loom them, but only grab them. And pull or pull them through or slide over the head. Same thing. Then we can loom. And you can loom up once more after you did that. Need to loom up further, but it's secure now. Same process onto the opposite side. Stick your hook through the top two and the bottom two loops. Oh, almost off screen. So, same process, same set of bends. Not the first set of two you come across if you look from the snout, but the second set. Yes. Again, go inside this peg, grab those two bends and slide over the head or pull through those two bends and loom. That's it. Loom up once more. Then we can loom up or loom diagonally these two and these two. Loom up the center once, stop there, and loom up the sides once, and also stop there. <coughs> now remove the bottom jaw from the loom. Do this carefully, please, because they can snap, of course. Remove it until you reach the tongue part. Also remo remove the tongue already. We're not completely done yet. But we're getting there. Guess this will be enough to stretch. Well, I'll remove it one peg further. Like this, yes. Well, it doesn't matter actually in what order we do it now. Simply attach those three loose sets onto those three pegs and loom over once more. Now, if you are using this head uh, for your own project or anything uh, like that, please give um, me credit for it. Uh, loom over. Simply Attach it and loom over the final sets. That's all we need to do. Stick your hook through all those loops. Check yourself by removing that um, tying band so you have all the loops around your hook. Attach it and loom over the final set. Because I know you guys re requested me to do a whole giraffe. I won't be doing that. And I will explain myself, um, I guess, on my Facebook page. I, I won't be doing uh, large projects um, for, for now. There's uh, something about to happen um, with my children. Uh, two of them need surgery. And actually, one of them needs two surgeries. Um, and... Well, there's a, a long recovery period from that, so I don't have a lot of time to design big things. Uh, so I will be doing pencil toppers, so now and then. Uh, we don't know the dates yet when my children need surgery, but well, we know it's going to happen. And I hope we will find out next week when it's going to happen. Um, but I will let you guys know um, something more about that later. I don't know the dates yet myself, so but it won't it will be happening uh, well quite soon. I do know that. so it, it won't they don't have to wait another year or something. So um, 
that's why I'm doing uh, some tiny projects and not some large projects because I will be uh, busy with my children, I guess. And of course, my mind will be busy with my children. So that's the reason uh, why I'm not doing uh, big things um, at the moment and probably uh, will do, I guess, only pencil toppers um, for a while, but I don't know. I will see. I will see how things go and I will keep you up to, up to date about this. Now, if you want to use this hat, be my guest, you can do that if you want to. Um, simply uh, tie this off with a single band, make a slip knot and remove it from your loom. And now if you want to make a neck, simply well, fill your loom. And you can even make uh, a pattern in it. And dark uh, bands. I use two bands at a time. Dark bands and a light band. Dark. And to make some sort of pattern for a giraffe. And simply uh, well, put the neck here. On how long you want it to be. And attach this head onto those three pegs. Those three loose ends. And simply loom. That's all you need to do. And then you will have a neck. And again, tie off the bottom of the neck. Because it will have to be attached onto a body. But it, this is, um, well, something. I, if I, you know, I will probably would design this differently. But that, that's a way to do it. Anyways, I'm not making a, a whole giraffe. So I need to use the last sets. To make a slip knot. So pull through the bottom two to the top. And same thing for the middle. Simply make slip knots, actually. Make slip knots with the last loomed sets. And if you've done that, you can remove your finished giraffe pencil topper from your loom. Yay! You're done, my dear. <laughs> I love the tongue. It's quite long now. We'll see how it looks in a second. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah, <laughs> you can even stick it out. <laughs> oh my. No, this is better. The long tongue. Yes, and you can pull a bit on the bottom jaw, of course. Two. Yeah, this is awesome. I like the tongue that long. Glad I chose to do that. Yeah. Awesome. So this is your finished giraffe pencil topper with a longer tongue inside. Look at it. Hide those bands here. I will not be doing that on this video. I hide them here. You just pull them inwards. And of course you can attach this on a pencil or a pen. And there it is. So I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, I will get back to you if I know um, well dates for the surgery and things uh, of course I will be with my children um, probably in the hospital and we might even need to, need to stay there with them I don't know but I will let you guys know I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so far and uh, well like uh, share subscribe to my channel uh, it's free so you definitely help me with that um well, guys, I will see you in my next tutorial. Probably another pencil topper. Yeah, the crocodile. I need to do the crocodile too. Um, don't know. And I will try to do a camel. That's oh, a cute creature too, I guess. So, uh, guys, have fun. Have a great day. And I will keep you up to date about uh, my family. Uh, well, not all the details, of course. but <laughs> Well, uh, I will keep you guys uh, up to date. So have fun. Bye-bye.